should say live right now. Yeah, it's live. Okay, hey. that was not that hard. Wow, that wasn't too us. bad. No, you All rocked right. it out. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> we are live. We are live. So welcome to our channel. For those of you who are in the chat, hello, Gary from Life in the Trail. Um, we're going to have people kind of filtering in, but... We're going to get started on all the fun. So basically how this came about, we sent Matt and Kay from Happy Trails Hiking, who is here with us tonight, a Christmas gift. We wanted to send them something nice, just some beer and a couple little gifts. And they're so sweet. And they got their package and they wanted to send us beer in return. So we are unboxing the beer that they sent us and we're just going to drink and hang out. So if you guys are down for that, we'll be reading the chat and hanging out with you guys as well. But mainly drinking beer and talking to Matt and Kay. Yes. <laughs> okay right. we have so, beer do you guys want to show your beer first and then we can do our unboxing so yeah. show what yeah, nice. yeah that's fine i want to okay. so you should we do you want to do them one at a time or you want to just do them all at once oh do them all just do them all okay. we'll show them all then all right so beer number one mine this is a vanilla java porter oh right up there this one so do you want to tell us about this one that i'm about to open and drink this is one of my favorite beers of all time. You, okay. Yeah, we don't have the glass, but that's, no, yeah. that's like one of so, my favorite beers ever. This beer is from Detroit, Michigan, and it is at the Brewing Company. And it's just, I don't have a lot to say about it. I just love it. Um, on Untapped, I think I rated it darn near a five because I've been drinking it for years. It's one of my first beers that I fell in love with. And it's very coffee, vanilla, creamy. It's just a good Not beer. much head at all. Nope, not really. nothing. Coffee, yeah, this reminds me, okay. This is a vanilla version of um, the breakfast stout, Founders Breakfast Stout. Yes, yes. it yeah, is. Yeah. Oh yeah, but way more creamy. So I'll go ahead and pull out the other three, but I just wanted to get the first one open so we'd have something to drink. Okay, <laughs> so All right. the other three that we have. So the next one here is a Neapolitan milk stout. Yep. And we've seen this. We've actually seen that at our beer store, at our beer and sauce shop. Well, that's awesome. So, and yep. I've got a buddy that uh, homebrewed a uh, milk, a Neapolitan stout. So I'm, I'm very interested in that one. Then we have the Elysian pumpkin ale. That should be entertaining. Yep. And um, we've seen that in the stores too. But And the next one we haven't seen at all. And the next one is Shorts Brew. Um, with a very interesting uh, design here, like somebody's barfing or puking. Uh -huh. um, and it's a, it's a double IPA, so Some that one's Lord. definitely right up my alley. Yeah. Oh. So Matt will want to finish off that one pretty quick and, and go on. But we're interested to know what you guys think of the ones we we sent you. Okay, so babe, go ahead and start pulling them out. He just right. opened the box. Just opened the box. Okay. Okay, so the first one I've got is... Ooh. A zombie lager with 1031 zombie lager. Wow, so the label the is label's awesome. incredible. It's like holographic. And this one's Main Street Brewing Company, 4204. And it is Belleville, Illinois. Yeah. Have you guys have you guys had We're this cool one before? No. Nope. No, we haven't actually had that one before. Well, it's I'd seen the uh, zombie one here, so I was inspired when I saw that label. <laughs> Incarnation IPA from Four Hands. That's pretty. It's like stained glass. It's a really cool. On the label, a really cool label. And it yeah. says, pairing spicy food and grilled beef. So that sounds delicious. Four mm. Hands Brewing Company. And one of our favorites. That's one of our favorite brewing companies here in St. Louis. St. Louis. Have you been to the actual brewery itself? Uh, Yes. Yes. Have I? No. Um, no. No, I have not. He has. Oh, oh okay. No. Gotcha. Okay, right. so there's a little note here. First of all, I didn't. It's just a note. It's cute. It's a very cute note, though. It's something. I sent it on this paper. <laughs> We're pretty sharp. Oh, but it is musical. Oh. Anyway. It's you said, note paper. Hey, Lori's here, guys. My Hello, sister. Lori. He says this is my usual time sitting around watching Kay and Matt drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's so funny. we have Giddy Goat Coffee Milk Stout. By Public House Brewing Company in St. James, Missouri, 5.5% yep. ABV. This is um, from our old stumping grounds. Um, I love the name. Yeah, yeah. So we have been there. there. <laughs> it's got a tree of life on it. It's really cool. Yeah, really cool. Really All right. 
I reused some of your packing paper too, by the way. That's, well, we love recycling. So that's <laughs> yeah, good. there you go. Nudie suit <laughs> Nudie suit porter. <laughs> another one from Mothers. What's from Mothers. Yes. The milk. milk. The milk. Yes. Milk. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's milk from mothers. Okay. So it's on brand for them with that name. 5.5% right. ABV. Um, this is Springfield, Missouri. Yes. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Yeah. The lineup is solid. Okay. So quick question before we continue. I started clicking on us and you guys, when you were talking, we were talking, how do I get it to where it just bounces back and forth again? Um, just click on whatever's white, whatever white box is there. And it, the white box should disappear. Like double. Okay. 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 Perfect. And the last. Oh, there's another one. Is yeah. We got excited. I am excited <laughs> about that. Okay, Hoptimistic IPA. Um, ah, yes. <laughs> 6.5% ABV, and it is 65 IBUs, and that is St. Guinevere, Missouri. Genevieve, and yes, you will love yeah, it. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. Okay, perfect. Awesome. So you can pick, they already poured one, so go ahead and pick pick one of our glasses. You can pour one. All right. Here, you can pick you first. Can have the bubble wrap. <laughs> Over on in bubble wrap. He won't be squeaking tonight, though. Okay. Just popping. So instead. I'm gonna do. <laughs> do. What one do you want to start with? Where's the nudie? The nudie one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> start with nudie. Yeah, yeah. It's always always oh, a good call. Funny. Right. That's hilarious. Well, get get the poor oh. on the screen. I was gonna say if we're gonna if we're gonna be nudie maybe we ought to wait till the end and then, like be underneath the <laughs> pool. <laughs> oh brother dude's here hey okay so oh, i love brother dude hello over, thank you over on is their dog brother dude they got a new puppy well dog and his name is oberon isn't that awesome yeah, yeah anyway. he, he left the comment when uh, we did our reveal and he was like yeah love the names mm. <laughs> Man, that was a cool collab. Those brews look amazing. I wish I was here earlier to check out the Michigan bre uh, brews. You're yeah. Gonna, because they don't, they're drinking one right now. They're drinking Atwater Brewing Company, Vanilla Java Porter, the regular one, not the variants or the barrel aged. Um, but you'll see them. I promise. They're going to be drinking. Will you smell the nude thing? The nudie. That sentence. <laughs> <laughs> smell the nudie thing. Smell the nudie thing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is gonna go down it's so fast. Like so, chocolate. It has a, a pretty good head. It's like a finger width. So that's pretty it's good. Nudie, of course it does. Sorry, went there. Sorry. Did not <laughs> go there. We're drinking. Who knows what we're gonna say? Um hey Z R is here. Z R. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the live stream. What are you smelling? Um it says hi dad. Has Matt tried that, the vanilla Java Porter yet? I that, have, oh, yeah. yeah, he's been drinking it. He oh, has okay. some and I have some. Yeah, okay. it, it's got a muted chocolatey. Muted chocolatey. I like that. Very creamy. That's I like a, creamy. Yeah, very creamy. It's not bitter. It's smooth. It's medium to full bodied. And it's mainly just like a muted chocolate undertone, but I'm not getting a, any other prevalent flavors. That's good. But it's yeah. very good. It's very clean. A very clean beer. We got him a clean beer, a nudie clean beer. <laughs> All right. Nothing That's a good about. thing. Porter. So what is your impression of vanilla Java Porter? So I'm picking up, I mean, it does have definitely a strong vanilla. <laughs> um, no, I'm not getting that much of the coffee, but this is a great beer. I, it I mean, tastes coffee. Like I taste the coffee, like back of tongue taste coffee. Yeah. But smells like it's first thing, vanilla. It mind. actually reminds me of a, I think it's a Breckenridge vanilla porter. Um, oh, yeah. But but I always felt like that one was a little bit too thin. This is better. It's There's a little bit more body yep, to it. This one's chewable. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's chewable a good one. beer. Yeah, they do a barrel aged version of that that is mm. phenomenal. It's like, really, really, really they, have, um, they had a box they released this year that had four variations, one of which was Bavarian cream. So like Bavarian cream filled donuts, it was that flavor profile oh. with the same base as the vanilla Java, and it was it was phenomenal. That like, seems pretty amazing. Um, Brother Dune says my favorite Michigan beer is Grand Rabbit's Black Rock. Black Rock. Yeah. Black Rock. And it just just got a picked up a Starman Pale Ale. Cool. Nice. So he's based on the UP, so it makes sense that he chose Black Rocks. We oh. love Black Rocks. Nice. Yeah, he's in Sault Ste. Marie. Okay. 
Okay. I'll just nod and smile. I don't, <laughs> you're like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know where that is, but okay. Yeah, the funny thing about that too is you did a live stream a long time ago when you guys were doing like the trivia once in a while with like national park trivia. Yeah. Oh, nice. For the national park, you're like, I don't know where that is. And I'm like, Michigan. You're like, I don't I don't know where it is. I don't think and I kept saying Michigan in the Michigan. chat over and over again. Michigan. And I didn't like, believe it because it yeah, was. Yeah, you're like, no, it's, there, that's not true. And Lori's like, yes, it's true. <laughs> that's because Lori's the human Google. <laughs> and you're the human random fact Google and beer Google. She, I, she I is am. beer Google. Yes. I am. Yes. And we played, yeah. actually, this is not going to be on our channel for a couple of weeks still, but we took um, a bunch of brewing terminology, like scientific beer terms, mm. and we had to guess what the term meant on face value while drinking. And if, well, let's, I don't want to give too much away, but we were drinking beer that we don't want to drink. And it, so if were you, you drinking Land that, Shark? Just asking. No, but worse, Thanks. actually. It was and worse. It was worse. It, it, the worst. Tag? <laughs> got if you got the term wrong, you had to drink this nasty beer. And if you got it right, you didn't. <laughs> so that, that was could be rough. coming up in a couple of weeks, but it's, it was really funny. So I just thought it turned out fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it only turned out fun because I had to drink more than you did. Yeah. Well, yeah. And you lost at darts. Shut up. She always loses at darts though. Literally, I always do. I've only beat him like of the hundreds of times we've played maybe four times. Brother Dune, I agree. Worse than Landshark, Coors Light. <laughs> oh, God. It, it was worse than Coors Light. Stag? Yeah, yeah, you'll just have to Natty wait. Natty Light. Oh, she's not going to tell us. Beer. We have to I've wait for the video. Okay. He's never heard of it. I'm like, listen, the only time I ever drank this was when I was in college. He's like, that's not a good sign. I'm like, yep. I, I remember distinctively drinking this beer and passing out and waking up to a sprinkler turned on in my face. Oh, <laughs> so. It's not a good one. It's That's bad. bad. That sounds like a Mad Dog 2020 French, kind of story. French Oz <laughs> Bear Reviews here. Hi, hi French Oz oh, Bear Reviews. Oh, French Oz? Um, yeah, it's it's pretty funny. So it's you have to wait, but it, it's really nasty. Yes. Mine, you go to the next one. Yes, open the next one. Yes, open the next one. Okay, I'm going to rinse out my glass here. He has a rinsing thing bucket. Oh, dude, man, that is bad. <laughs> man, that is bad, yeah. Sounds like a, a 40 of course. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, it's really worse than that. You have no it's, idea. Oh, I cannot. Okay, so when is this video going up? That one goes up the first, or no, if that one goes on up, up at the last Wednesday of the month. So it'll be this month. Okay. All right. That's fine. Actually, you've got a lot of beer left. <laughs> I do have a lot of beer left. Fine. Sorry. Um, Here. I can, I can help. Uh, I'm going to go for the, uh, the IPA. Slumlord. Oh. Yeah, I got a lot of beer left. You can yeah, drink. Yeah, Kay's got a lot of beer left, so I'm going to go ahead and open a new one here. Mm. ZR, I thought so. It's Zachary. I was going to say he said hi, Dad. Yeah, because so I, I was like, like <laughs> this is a person that, that knows you. Well, hopefully. There's like, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, it's our son, <laughs> Zach. Our son, Zach. Patrick's hi, Zach. I was like, there's no one that calls Matt dad. And so. Well, because like them. there was this whole thing where I guess it was cool to call people dad, mm -hmm. even if they were not your dad or a female. Yeah. So I didn't know. Okay. That looks like really orange. Very this, hazy. This is a hazy, hazy yes. IPA. Okay. I didn't realize that. A hazy double IPA. What's ABV on this? You want to knock me out? I don't know. Whatever. Here, I'm going to look. Should be around a 10. I think. Oh, okay. It's a 10 cent Michigan deposit. Okay, sorry. Um <laughs> be around a 10 and 100 IBUs. Well, we'll see. I don't think that that's necessarily the case. I'm nope. not trying. Double, no, right? Oh, hmm. I was well, going to say, Eileen's going to well, look it up. If it's 100 IBUs, they put a lot of malt in to balance it out oh, because it's okay. not. Okay, no. See, you're totally oh, wrong. No, that's why I said you shouldn't. Yeah, it, no, it is a double. Oh, but it's a double New England. And oh, it's okay. So this is 7.3% ABV, 17 okay. IBU. So very low on the bitterness. Very low. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's not that much better. Hi, French Haas. I figured I would introduce us since you said you don't know us. We're Happy Trails Hiking. And I'm Kay. This is Matt. And we're friends with Dana and Eileen. And we hike and show off parks and promote public lands and stuff. And drink there. beer. And drink beer now. <laughs> Yeah, well, this actually, is interesting. I've never had a hazy IPA. I like it. You never have? I've never had one this hazy. Oh. I mean, okay. because, like, there's no way I can see through this. No. Well, most of the time when I have an IPA, it's at least a little bit translucent. Got or, Sorry, at least a little transparent. But gotcha. this one, this is, you know, impossible to see through. 
Hello, JC Outdoors. Thanks for joining us. And hi, Desert Pioneer. Nice to see you as well. <laughs> Brother Tunes. <laughs> it's worse beer. He's still now. guessing. <laughs> He's still guessing. You'll find out the end of this month. Um, so yes, French Haws, uh, this is Happy Trails Hiking, like they mentioned, and uh, they actually do home brewing, and they are craft beer lovers as well. We met with them in person, and we did a beer trade in person. It's one of our bonfire beer reviews from when we first came back in September, and um, so we were just hanging out and drinking beer. We did a trade, so they have some Michigan beer, and we have some Missouri beer, and an Illinois beer as well. Yep. Yeah, we threw an Illinois in there just to just to throw, throw off. French in there, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. it's, uh, but it's the by state. It's by state beer. That's it, by state <laughs> beer. Our news station around here is by state, so yeah, you, ha you have go. to get all the Illinois, Illinois stuff. So, so you're digging the hazy IPA? Yeah, I like it. I um, I mean, I'm you, you yes. know, getting an IPA that's not too hoppy is kind of unique, but I do like it. Dana now ah. jealous, and he wants this one now. No, oh, gonna, he should totally yeah, absolutely one of Matt's favorites. Optimistic. So excited about this. I okay, can't. so what can you tell us about this beer or this brewery? Well, so um, that is uh, uh, Charleville out of St. Genevieve, right? Yep, and we went there with uh, Big uh, Crazy Outdoor Adventures. Yeah, so they they have uh, two locations. Their primary one is in St. Genevieve, Missouri. Um, and so for those who are not familiar, that's maybe an hour and a half to two hours south of the St. Louis metropolitan area. Um, yeah. and it's, um, it's kind of close to, I'd say it's probably within a half an hour of the highest point in Missouri. Which right is where a, we were. Yeah. So you Tom probably Sock. remember Tom Sock mountain. Yes. It yeah. rained. So it's probably like a half an hour from there. Um, or yeah, ish. Um, they also have a little branch, uh, in St. Louis as well. And so there's another one that they make that I should throw out. And that is something like box of chocolates. Oh, but, uh, I didn't see that one. It's amazing. And I, if I had seen that, I totally would have gotten it because that's exactly what you think it would be. But they, they do some interesting things. Um, and they're, um, but Hoptimistic is really good and he likes it. And that's what yeah. he got when he went down to the brewery. Okay. Here. So go ahead. I'm ready. Give I'm us ready. a pour. Okay, He's do it. Ready. No patience here. No patience. Go higher. No. So I can go underneath again. Okay. <laughs> so I can go underneath. It's the Gosh. ball on your cap. It gets that in the way, looks, man. It looks like a dangerous activity here. <laughs> it does. I'm like the troll under the bridge right now. We are trolls. You must must provide beer to cross the bridge. Troll under the bridge. See, totally different color than this IPA, though. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, definitely has That's a reddish, got a nice red. Very amber -y. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's yeah, it sits well in the glass. And look at it on the screen; it looks like more red than it is. Yeah, it does, and the carbonation is is not super active, but active enough to be oh, obvious. Wow. Yeah. Hi, hike with Mike. It's good to see you. Yes, hello, hello, Mike. Thank you for joining us. Are you? What are you drinking tonight? Just asking. He's always drinking something um very light. Oh, he's in Florida. You're supposed to, right? Oh, that's true. Yeah. Well, they have some heavy stuff in Florida too. We did a beer hop in Florida. It's the one that we had at uh, was it Cigar City, High Lie or Jai Lie? Jai Lie. I, I don't know how you say. Yeah, that. I don't know how, how to say that. Beer, but, but that's a good beer. Good. <laughs> you have all the snacks. Well, I can move the snacks over. That's a snacks dealer. What are you snacking on? Are you snacking on gummy bears again? No. no. Well, these are peanut butter pretzels. Peanut butter oh, filled pretzels. I love those. Yeah, those are good. Yeah. French Dawes wants to know what your wrist tattoo is of. Well, it's not my wrist tattoo. I don't have any. I have a couple. So this one is a symbol that I made, and it's kind of a yin and yang, but just whatever I felt like drawing at the time. And then I have an issue with wearing jewelry. I don't like to wear jewelry. So this is my wraparound bracelet that I created. And then this is the term as is. That's okay. my <laughs> That's a delicious beer. You got to try that. It's okay. piney citrus. Really, it's got a little bit of bitterness to it. It's really tiny good. for sure. Brother Dune says, "Funky Buddha Brewing Brewery has some tasty beers in oh, Florida." Not for me. Not nope, for you. Not you the one. Like I and yeah, uh, I wouldn't drink it. <laughs> not I, wouldn't well, drink it. I made that. You won't case. like the incarnation either. <laughs> no, that's like that's like if you took a session because it has like a session bitterness to it for me, like a dandelion. It's, it's got more more flavor. flavor than it's session. like if you were drinking a beer and then a a branch from a pine tree fell into it and then you just kept drinking. That's what that's like for me. Oh, 
So I, th I think the incarnation may have more, or even more of that like session kind of bitterness because I mean, with a session beer, you get less malt. So it kind of gets a little out of whack. Okay. So brother Dune mentioned funky Buddha and we actually have had a couple of beers from them. Yep. We got from a beer blogger online that sent us some beer years ago before we started Craft our channel. Eddie blogs. Craft Eddie blog. He's actually the one that, probably got us more into the brewing a trading trading yeah and, and talking about it. and then hike with mike says natty light no fancy stuff for me but you guys would love swamp head brewery in gainesville florida great beer and great non-alcohol flavored ginger beers oh, that cool. does sound very interesting natty now light. we have to go to gainesville <laughs> well there's another one <laughs> yeah right there's another place we got to go. I keep trying to go to all the craft beers in the U.S., but I don't know. It's not oh, working so well. It's not going to work so well. <laughs> well it's okay. good to have goals, though, right? We've got a few in, in California in March and a few in Michigan in May. Yes. <laughs> and then, yeah. And then we'll figure out the rest from there. What, what, what was the one we had in California that was, we had two of them. We had like the Speakeasy, the speakeasy in San Francisco that was and then the amazing other one, beer. Um, well, you fell in love with Sierra Nevada in California as well. Yeah, but, but that's there was, like a, there was one that we couldn't find anywhere, and it was like a red Sequoia. It's called the Sequoia, Sequoia, Sequoia Red, Ale. Red Ale or something like that. I don't that. know who it's by. I can't remember right now, but it's actually, they send proceeds to the National Park System, and that beer is incredible. Like, we really didn't care about Red Ales until we had that one, and then we're like, oh, maybe we should try more Red Ales. Yeah, so, We've I had that. I think I've had that one. That's a good one. I do like a red ale, except not Killian's. Well, I like Killian's too. It's just, I like, I had Killian's and then I had a different red ale. I was like, oh, okay. That's way That's better. Real. I mean, Killian's yeah. isn't bad, but you I know, it's nothing that. right home about. I think that Killian's falls into that if somebody else is buying it rule. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, um, absolutely. That's true. Really? That's one of Matt. Matt, why don't you tell everyone who's on the live chat what your rules of beer are? <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. So my first, when I developed the rules of beer, I think I originally had three. So rule number one is no light beer. And rule number two uh, used to be no fruit beer. Now I have since deleted that rule. Mm. Um, but the final rule is that the other rules can be broken if someone else paid. Wow. Yes. That's very true. Which is where that Killian's falls for me. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. French pause. Um, quickly, I'll read this from the chat. He just read today that Massachusetts is opening something like 36 new breweries in 2019, which is an insane number Whoa. to add to one state. Um, I find a lot of new breweries, breweries, brews are just so-so. I agree with that. I feel like the craft beer trend of this this hot, whole idea of let's start brewing let's make a brewery is is just like people try to do it like that whereas before it truly was a hobby in someone's basement or their garage that turned into a crazy passion that turned into a brewery a business a small business and a community thing and now it's just anyone thinks they can do it or does it and right two we things high desert pioneer says sierra nevada is his jam Nice. Got the last celebration ale right now. And then second, if we ever get down to Cookville, Tennessee, we have to go to Happy Trails Brewing. Oh, you have oh, you to. Do. You have to. We found them because Matt started Happy Trails Brews on Instagram. Mm. And so I typed in Happy Trails Brew at, uh, as a hashtag and got brewing and went, oh, Oh, oh. God. But then realized they were opening a brewery in Tennessee. So I have to go whether they're going to be good beers or not beers. I, I, and you got to bring go. Trekker with you. But Trekker will have to go. Yes. He's yeah, he, he like, pretty well goes. Yeah, he's got to be like the crazy turtle on top of the bar top. Pretty much. <laughs> oh, sorry. Exactly. <laughs> you could like ask them if he could sit on one of the like the kegs and be like, can he do a keg stand, please, for an Instagram picture? That would be awesome. <laughs> It would <laughs> make Trekker keg stand. Well, That's we funny. We could do that here. Oh, and my hike with Mike says hoppy trails hiking. Oh, oh yeah. well done. Well done. That should well be done. a new t-shirt design that you guys make. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not loving the t-shirt so much. I'm doing lots of coffee mugs, though. I know. Speaking of coffee mugs, yeah. I don't think, we didn't show them yet, did we? Didn't we didn't show them yet. No. no. Okay. Let's do a quick plug for Matt and Kay. 
So we have two of their coffee mugs here that we purchased from their Shopify store. When Kay is able, she will link the Shopify in the description box if you're in the need for a beautifully designed coffee mug. These are pictures that they took while traveling to the national parks. And you, I, I collect coffee mugs, so I feel like you could never have enough of them. They shipped very quickly. Shipping was very cheap. Yep. And I love that we supported a friend, fellow YouTuber, and small business. So we have two of our favorite designs here. Mm, and those are a couple of our favorite too. Yeah. This is my favorite. That's tries, my favorite one. No, actually. you don't get to use it. I, uh, it's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. <laughs> well, <laughs> this one right here is our new favorite one. The one that's above our head. I it's like, I love buy that. that. Yeah. Rice yeah. Canyon. Yeah. So yeah. Those um, kind of are perfect size. They don't. They're like uh, the, the eleven ounce. Size yeah. is, it's a good size. So right. Yeah. It, the smaller ones. Yeah. Um, Matt, do you consider a session IPA a light beer? Just curious. No, yeah. a session IPA is a beer that's just simply lower gravity, uh, low, less alcohol. So no, I wouldn't call that light at all. It's um, they don't, but the, it's it's lower in uh, alcohol. I just said that, didn't I? Um, the, <laughs> the funny thing about a session beer is that uh, spe specifically with IPAs, I feel like you get a little bit more punch in the face from the hops specifically the bitterness um, because there's less malt Be you know they have to use less malt to get the less alcohol um just right. just saying if we're talking about merch i have a lovely oh, yes. t-shirt on here that um you can probably find <laughs> in the description and matt's make beer not war also came from the description link um from the beer belly travelers they're awesome um thank you guys <laughs> you're welcome you own our t-shirts before we do just so you know so <laughs> well, you owned our mugs before we did so there you are yeah, okay. we actually haven't seen the two mugs that you have hike with mike says my wife dropped my hike with mike mug at the campfire gave me on christmas day i wish oh, had no. oh That's no fun. we need to get you another one hike with mike That's and not good High Desert Pioneer said a note breweries around the country are making hashtag resilience IPA for campfire relief. Look for them at any independent brewery. That's interesting. We'll definitely note breweries are look. Okay. So it's of called note breweries. Also, yeah. Of note so that's breweries. a variety of different breweries. I'm assuming that's what that means. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Resilience IPA. Okay. Cool. Um, just to let you know, I thought we should have used the hashtag. Um, Boycott Trump prime time um, <laughs> for this stream because it was a trending hashtag. I didn't do it, but I thought of it. Um, Happy Trust <laughs> Brewing is in Sparta, Tennessee, near Fall Creek Falls State Park. So, right. Eileen, are both of you and Dana coming to Tennessee? Yes. yes. Okay. So, Fall Creek Falls would be a great place for you guys to go when you go. And you should go to Happy Trust Brewing then, too. <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't have a choice. I he actually, has to go. yeah, I actually have to go. I'm working. Oh. Um, I'll be. Eileen will have more time in doing fun things. Doing fun things than I will. Okay. I'm, I'm at a conference, so yeah, we're oh. conference. gotcha, gotcha. I understand. Thank you, Lori H Human Google, for um, correcting me. I thought it was in Cookville, but Sparta is much more fun because it's near Fall Creek Falls. You can stay in Cookville. What? <laughs> oh, I was like, what? <laughs> I thought I'd stay with Lori if I was going to no, go. And then, no, I'd that's not what I meant. It's oh. like, if, because when I visited Fall Creek Falls, I have stayed in Cookville. <laughs> that was the intent. Of saying, like, you can come to the park, you have to stay in Cookville. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's <laughs> like, poor <4K. laughs> Kay. Oh, damn. Anyway, no, it's um, like, it's close enough. That's where you can stay when you visit the state park. That's it. Happy Trails Brewing does have a great logo. Um, I agree with you. Um, I was actually considering something quite like it for one of our logos, but abandon that. Oh, that's funny. <sighs> it, yeah. So, it's so been a weird year. Pause. What are you drinking right now? I'd like to know what everyone mm. is drinking in the chat. We've gotten some responses on that, but it's always nice to know. I'm still drinking my first beer. Are yeah, you? Yeah, me too. Okay. Yeah, I'm about done though. Close. I'm almost, mm -hmm. but we filmed two videos today, so I've already had two beers. Oh, <laughs> which? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Been one of those nights. Um, we, that's all right. We visited the brewery or the the beer store today, and uh, we I went in, crazy. We, she went crazy. 
we're pretty regular with that guy, so he he gives us beer Free every beer. once in a while. So yep. um, and we ran into the distributor there, so um, she's actually follows our channel. Yeah. Uh, and and there was that conversation. It just it got. She came back out with like a huge box of beer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh. I was in the car with Oberon waiting because we just gotten back from a hike, and she comes back out toting. I was waddling with beer. Box of beer. I'm like, oh, <laughs> waddling. Well, that that sounds like a a, a good it's problem not, there. Not a really bad problem to have, but. <laughs> but it was funny because Dana was looking at his phone, and Oberon was like sticking his nose out of the crack in the window, and I was like, hi, like talking to the dog, and then Dana oh, turned the dog. and then he did like a double take. <laughs> so he yeah, went I'm like. Sorry. like no. <laughs> What's funny? I forgot that Oberon was the name of the dog. I thought you were like hanging out in the car, sipping on a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, hurry up, bring more beer. Well, you know what's funny is that Oberon is is husky, so he likes to run, and he's gotten out of the house three times, four times, and we live in a cul-de-sac. He takes off down the road, just yeah. zoom, gone. I've never seen a dog run this fast in my life. So we're chasing him down the road, yelling for him. So our neighbors all think we're drunks because we're... <laughs> oh, <God>. Oberon! <laughs> and they're like, they goes, like, listen, Oberon comes out in the spring. You guys are just going to have to wait. Just... <laughs> You're going to have to wait. <laughs> mm. So that's been fun. I think our neighbor went from thinking we were weird to like totally hating us because she likes to feed the deer and he mm. doesn't like the deer. Obviously he thinks they're very tall dogs that we don't let him play with. So he barks and then they leave her yard and she's just like angry <laughs> sitting in her window. Like, cause she's feeding them. <laughs> Watch him because he's scaring the deer. Oh, so like, you are now the enemy. She hates enemy. us. That's okay. She can be an enemy. She hates hiking. She hates the na She hates nature. She hates trees, and she hates waterfalls. So I don't care if she's my friend. Oh, that sounds like there's a little bit of a disconnect there. There is. <laughs> I don't know what King Sue from Toppling Golath is, but it's burning a hole in French Hawes's fridge. Wow. Okay. So wow. That sounds. That's a mouthful of a beer name. Toppling Goliath. Wow, can you I explain said it a little bit? Because I I don't I don't crazy. know what that is. It looks like we're the only ones drinking on here. Right yeah, now. I think or everybody else is <laughs> not drinking. People are just they're living vicariously through us. That's what it wait, is. Now somebody, Empty. Wait, somebody had Ooh, a natty light. That was like so with Mike. And Mike, and Mike had to leave, but I'm oh, empty. Yeah. Yes, uh, um, guess what I'm gonna pick? Pumpkin. The, oh. Or the other one. Oh wait, wait. Hold on. Guess what I'm gonna pick, Eileen? Oh well, Neapolitan. Yeah, that's what I was gonna pick, but oh, I fine. yeah, Matt would rather drink the pumpkin later than the Neapolitan. Well, I may not get to the pumpkin. You won't see. get to it tonight. That's I have, to, right. I have to work tomorrow. So Sagatuck Brewing Company, you guys have been there for like done a ton of reviews on this. Love Sagatuck. Yeah, it's yeah. 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 an amazing place. It's an amazing place. It's, <laughs> okay. It's, it it's is. right on Lake Michigan. It's it's this it's a beach quaint town little beach town with tons with of hiking. Like, lots of hiking. Great place to go. You're you're I it's just it's cool. It's just a cool place. Yeah, they do um they do what's called um I don't I can't remember the exact term, but they do safe graffiti in the town of Sagatuck. So they okay. have, have a bunch of literally old women who knit yeah. Things to be put on items that would be tagged as graffiti, but they're knitted items. Like, for example, there's a tree trunk that has a giant scarf knitted onto it because mm -hmm. they were covering up graffiti that a teenager did and tried to damage the tree. So they covered it with knitted scarves. So it's kind of funny. So the entire town has like safe graffiti. It's a very. Um, it smells like strawberry ice cream. It, yeah, yeah. I, I can't wait to hear what you have to say about it. So I'm okay, gonna so, but I, first of all, I have to say that it's a brewery out of Decorah, Iowa, French Hawes says, and it's so good. Everything they do is great, and they get it there in Rhode Island. So, Ooh. by the way, Decorah, Iowa, I'm from Iowa, so I knew how to say Decorah, just saying. Ooh. Um, but anyway, and Brother Dune was saying, uh, ha, it's awesome. She lives in northern Michigan and hates nature. What yeah, about it, your neighbor? It's really funny. <laughs> yeah, we said, "Yeah, we're going fishing." She goes, "That sounds terrible." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and she's a nice 
little old lady. She's she'll, great. She's she really is. is she's nice, very but... sweet, but she's very weird. And she'll come over while we're loading up our boat. And she's like, what are you guys doing with your boat? Like, that's how she says hi. What do you think? And we're like, <laughs> um, we live between two of the largest inland lakes. So we're going fishing. And she's like, that sounds terrible. Well, but I so, hope you have fun. But I hope you have so, fun. Next time she says, what are you doing with your boat? Say, look, the neighbor's car down the road, battery run out, needs to jump. We're going to go down there and jump the we're boat. We're going to go or down and jump this battery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's your time. We're like, hey, we're going to the UP. And she's like, what's there to see up there? I'm like, everything? <laughs> what do you mean? It's like the most wild area of Michigan, preserved nature. It's like, there's 120 waterfalls. What do you mean? She goes, waterfalls. That sounds terrible. Oh, my goodness. French House, have a good night. It was good to meet you, Scott. Thanks for coming. Thank you for joining us, Scott. So All right. Patrick was like, what do you mean? She goes, I just like to watch water come out of my shower. That's enough for me. That's really not very exciting. Well, it's not, it's not. <laughs> let's, just, let's just say that. Okay, okay, get into that beer. It's strawberry ice cream, but not as thick. So you like it? It's tolerable. It's not coconut. Uh, no, I purposely sent my coconut one to Tack and Brenda at AOK. -okay. I saw that. Yeah, because I got it, and then you told me you would never drink that in your entire life. So I was like, okay, sliding that to the A-OK -okay pile. Right. <laughs> yeah, I saw that they got it, and I was like, oh, that wasn't in our box, was it? No, it wasn't in our box. We're My good. first thought was, I've got to send this to them because it, we loved it so much, and it was, like, semi-expensive. So I'm like, if I'm going to send something, you know, I've, it's got to right. go trails are okay and then you said you don't like it i'm like well matt might like it but i'm not sending this to them coconut <laughs> it's coconut matt likes the like if we get coconut girl scout cookies i give them to matt you yeah. know that's how that works <laughs> it was so. a dessert beer that you would drink only one of in it would be too rich after that, but but it was more of a name than coconut, 12, but it was really good. like 12 percent 11 percent yeah you know i like the neapolitan um, he, so I've got a buddy that homebrews and I, when I tasted his homebrew, I got a very pronounced strawberry with it and he's really good at what he does. But this one here, it kind of is like, you know, if you're eating Neapolitan ice cream and you get a little vanilla chocolate and strawberry on the spoon, you get that kind of meld of the flavors. And that's kind of what that makes me think of. Strawberry. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mostly strawberry. <laughs> yeah, the, well, the thing is with that beer, you smell strawberry so like prominently that when you drink it, it's the first like flavor your taste buds perceive. So it comes off as more strawberry, but once it kind of settles down in your palate, you do taste all three flavors. So now, Kay, I don't know if you noticed, but Kay just held her nose while she drank the beer. Did that change anything? It, it tastes like beer instead of strawberries. Okay. <laughs> 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 I got an help, sorry. <laughs> so speaking of home brew really quick, do you guys have anything that you are brewing currently? You know, I haven't brewed in probably six months. Right, because, since we did the last one. Well, so last summer we did an IPA. In June. And I, we made some kind of a mistake. I think, I suspect the uh, transfer hose was the problem. Both but, put it in a keg. But I kegged it, and it's just never been right. Because, oh. um, like, if with an IPA, if it's not right when you first tap it, it's just it's just it's just not, not going to be right. And get better, you know? So, um, you know, so that's fifty bucks out the window, and more importantly, you know, a day and a half of my time and that's case right. time. Yeah. So yeah. it's you know, it kind of took the wind out of my sails. So I haven't gone back to it. So I'm sure when I you will, come down but... in June, or whenever you come down, we'll brew again. We'll just do it with a darker beer that's more forgiving, and we'll put it in bottles and send some home with you. Okay. Well, because well, the, the one you the guys one shared he, with yeah, us, yeah, it was great. Was delicious. It was. A yeah, great. that was. Uh, was that the peanut butter? No. No, it wasn't oh, peanut butter. Was it was. Was, was, wasn't it just a milk stout? It was. It was an imperial stout. It was an imperial okay. stout. And yeah. actually, that was. You guys were. You guys got the best of the batch from all last year. Oh, that's so. Good. Yeah, that was that was the best one. That's yeah, good. we're gonna. That's we're actually. Good. We're starting finally to homebrew, so we're starting with an IPA. And Dana wants to start with base recipes before we deviate and start experimenting, just so we can get used to the process. So uh -huh. I'm just a generic, um, 
recipe pack of IPA from what? What's the brand again? Oh, best oh, Best Brewers Best. Brewers Best. Yes. Brewers yep. Best. yep. So we're just getting one of their standard recipes for IPA. Um, he wants to get comfortable, and then we'll try to deviate. But is that what you guys do, or do you? That's do what that's what I typically Brewers use best. as a Brewers Best. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, they're good kits. Uh, if you want to go online for something, you can look at say Northwest Brewing or Midwest Brewing. Those are good sources yeah, too. I've seen them. Yep. You use your kitchen to to do the the whole thing, the the brewing. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, so no. When we first started, that's what we did. So um, I think I've got like a five gallon stainless steel kettle. Hey, it's and just... so you only have to do <laughs> Look how cute she is. In, the, in, the, in the boil. Oh, and I'm watching the replay as you guys are kind of <laughs> saying this. So I'm seeing it now. So That's Matt's funny. like being scientific and answering Dana's questions. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so Sorry, when, we, when we do the boil with the kit, we'll do, I'll boil, <laughs> uh, if I'm working on the stove, I'll boil three gallons. Um, and then I'll have in the, uh, in the plastic five gallon fermenter, I'll have, you know, I'll, I'll, um, you know, just dump it in there and then top it off with cold water and whatnot. Um, so, but yeah, it, it, when I first started out, it's totally possible, possible in the kitchen. So we yeah, were but, thinking about doing it on a, like a propane burner outside first. Yeah, because we're gonna be brewing and like we have a, we're gonna get a a mini fridge and a kegerator and all that stuff for our basement mm -hmm. bar. So we wanted to keep it in the basement, but right. our, our wet bar, the sink is so tiny, it's not realistic. So yeah. they were kind of like, I don't know, we might have to do it in the kitchen. And and at one point we we're actually gonna convert our shed in the backyard. It's a really big shed and it has electric run to it. We are gonna have that be only brewing, but with the way the weather is up here, especially in the winter, that's just, that's not realistic either. And we do gardening, so we don't wanna use our shed for that. And yeah, Eddie, right. tell them tell what happened. Well, so you did you say you're gonna try to brew inside or outside the next time? We haven't started yet, so we're we're we were thinking about trying to do it outside, but okay, that's even only possible. to use only to use the stovetop and then bring it inside for the rest of the process. That's what. So we're now, doing. are you going to do a propane burner outside? Yes. Yeah. So here's the thing: it's it's. I mean, it's cold here, but it's really cold where y'all are. Yes. Yeah. So the first time, so you guys got my second batch of Imperial Stout. Okay. The first batch we did pretty well a year ago. Um, and we did it outside in January. It was like, no kidding, the freaking coldest day of my the year. My wine froze. And oh. so one of my rules of home brewing is you have to drink while you're brewing. Um, so I had Merlot. Our beer froze <laughs> outside. <laughs> and the thing that's really, it's, the cold doesn't matter except for this, is that the any residual moisture in your propane will freeze when it's passing through the regulator and you'll get reduced propane and you'll find it hard to keep a flame lit. Oh. So if it's below 40 degrees, you should brew inside. Okay. Right, We're gonna have to brew that. inside because it's on average about 18 to 22 degrees right now. Yeah. More Day that we will have is about 36 to 40 at the warmest. Yeah, it was 46 if, degrees here today. Your regulator will freeze up. She's like pointing it out like yeah. it was 46. It was it, it was jogged was, outside. And your weather is what that is. <laughs> yeah, still having an ice storm currently. Thanks, Kay. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have snow on Saturday. You might actually get some like snow B roll from us. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> we want a slow mo of it, okay? Slow mo it. snow, got it. Yeah. I can't yeah. that, by the way. I can't be that drunk. The road in the Dana snow. wants to see a turtle in the snow, and he wants you to puck it. Okay. No. <laughs> Nobody's gonna I understand that but us. But that's you okay. Puck it. I did. Never mind. I didn't puck the turtle. It's not. Are you enjoying <laughs> your turtle magnet? By the way. I'll be right back. <laughs> Getting Where's a she... turtle magnet so I can. Oh my god! Turtle. Oh, the turtle magnet. <laughs> I okay, thought you I thought, awkwardly entered the bathroom. He's <laughs> going to get the turtle magnet. I thought you said, did oh. I enjoy the turtleneck? I'm like, what turtleneck? I didn't you said, <laughs> I, how did you know I have a turtleneck? I, I only wear my turtleneck when I'm impersonating Steve Jobs. I mean, you know. <laughs> That's a good reason to wear a turtleneck. So this is a turtle. And in order to puck it, you have to hit it with a stick. Like with, that, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, with your foot. I did. With your foot. Do not put your foot just, up here. I was trying to get it out of the road. I was trying to be he nice. Was saving the turtle, Eileen. Not I was. well. No, but it was going the wrong way, and I, it was 
it was bad. The whole thing. Oh. What's wrong. worse is I was like filming it and I was I was using a bigger lens, so I'm like zoomed in on this poor little turtle, and all of a sudden I didn't see what Dana was doing, and all I have is like a spinning <laughs> face, and I'm like, what are you doing to him? And he's like, I'm saving you. <laughs> So just so we're clear, no turtles were harmed in the filming of this YouTube production. Yes. Hike, with, hike with Mike has some cold weather the next two days, 40s and high 30s. Oh. And then Lori that's, says that's we're supposed to have for... snow in Tennessee. It is pretty cold for Florida. That um, Yeah, it is. That's true. Because 60 is like freezing for them. So 40 and 30 is pretty crazy. Yeah. We had a name for him, but I don't remember what it is. This came that's in Puck. our box, too. Oh, yes. Its name is Puck. I was on oh I just made that up on the spot. That's a great name. <laughs> I'm the turtle. I'm getting Poor into turtle. this beer now. So okay. I'm okay. Public house, giddy goat stout. Giddy goat coffee stout. And for those of you who were not here at the beginning, it's 5.5% ABV. St. James, Missouri. So as I pour this, what can you guys tell us about this beer or brewery? Um, well, okay. the brewery is located. In St. James, Missouri, which is on I-44 uh, west and a little south of St. Louis, about two hours. Near? Um, well, oh, it's, it's near Rolla, which is, uh, we used to live in Rolla. It's a little farther than your um, Onondaga Cave. Oh, okay. Okay. So, very, very active. Um, uh, I can't actually, smoke. I can't pour the That's whole insane. thing. That's insane. I didn't do a hard pour. I was doing a normal angle pour. And so, I'm going to let this settle for a minute because this <laughs> quite the head, and I will totally get this up my nose if I try to smell it. <laughs> Michael Mike bends into the road to save gopher tortoises. Oh, that's They're awesome. huge. <laughs> They're like big, though. Yeah. They're big. Gopher so tortoises. Tell them what I made you save, or what I saved during the summer when we hiked the beach. Tell, tell like, a brief story. So I, Story I, time with Dana. Well, yeah, so we hike, uh, when we hike, we usually end up on Lake Michigan somehow. So we're walking along the beach, and certain times of the year, ladybugs are mating mating on the beach. They're very prolific all along the, the shore. Thousands of them. And Sounds like a video. It, it's, I mean. <laughs> Wildlife <laughs> Wednesday. Yeah, probably. <laughs> anyway, they're all over the place. And Eileen, uh, at first, she stops, takes pictures um, macro shots of ladybugs doing the ladybug things for like 30 for, minutes. And he's like, uh, hiking? and we just keep hiking. And I'm, I'm like, oh, there's hold a, on. There's a nice wave. And, and so she's doing this and then she starts flipping the ladybugs over because, because they they're get stuck on their back and then they're like, their legs down. are like so this. And I feel terrible. For millions them. of ladybugs up and down the shore. And they enjoy that the most worried about flipping them over so, so i can... keep stopping and he's so... like babe stop and i'm like hold on i gotta save his life and i flip him over and then he'll pass by them I'm like if you don't save at least one ladybug i'm leaving you on the beat so he had to start flipping ladybugs so, so i would stop yelling we spent at him an entire afternoon flipping ladybugs over so they would be safe from the anyway that's what i mean saves is ladybugs and worms, <laughs> and worms. Yeah. i save worms quite often well, all right. So one of you saves ladybugs, the other one saves turtles. But you're both shape saving hemispherical shaped creatures. So I mean, you're doing the same I thing. I don't it's know true. why it's yeah. I, it's probably just something that the we, words get longer as Matt gets more intoxicated. Just saying and hemispherical. Slurs it too. So I remember this from <laughs> entire time. As long as I understand what he's saying, that's all that really matters. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. What's better is like. Kay deciding to go to bed before everyone else and then talking to us from the top. <laughs> okay. Well, I think laying down and talking to you was much better that it night. It was really funny. <laughs> it was great. Because we didn't, we thought you were sleeping and we're having a conversation and Matt's very quiet late at night and he's kind of just inside of his own mind and we're talking and then he would like chime in here or there and then Kay's like, I don't think that's correct, honey. It was somewhere else. And he's like, okay, go to bed. Lori <laughs> <laughs> said hemispherical shaped creatures. <laughs> She's absolutely right. <laughs> what did you say? Sorry, they were conical. My bad. It's happening. It's happening. It's going. Oh, it's nope. Going everywhere. <laughs> nope. Thank you, Spiegelow. It is not going over. Whew. I do the same thing when it comes to wildlife. I catch insects in the house, including scorpions, and let them go outside. Way to go, hike with Mike. You get extra points. I, I don't Are know. Are we giving points? 
I yeah, what sure. if I win? But he saves go for tortoises too. We are yes, we're giving him points for sure. Okay, at least ten. We we had a giant wolf spider on the house and um, oh god, a, a, a nasty. Yeah, um, huge. And I actually you can get that woodpecker to eat it. I, I killed it. I uh, wish the it would have eaten the woodpecker. It was that big. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's a big ass spider. <laughs> that's my hat. That's a big ass spider. And Eileen yelled at me and said, "You better not let well, John was... Jay find out that you killed that spider." That's true. I, I'm Lori, like, okay, so story on Lori. She's gonna be laughing so hard she cries. She had a she moved into a new house in October. Yes, October, and. I so she um she had a fly in yeah. her house. I knew it. And we had to name it. It's named Marty McFly. Marty. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. That was funny. McFly. Yes. And so yeah. So she had a fly. And she hasn't seen it since at least Thanksgiving. Because we didn't get to meet Marty when we were there. I was kind of sad. <laughs> Just, just, no, Matt just killed off Marty Lori. I'm sorry. Fly's dead. Oh no. <laughs> but it's we're gonna go back to the, we're gonna go back to the future and get him. That was, <laughs> so, we had an infestation of these really strange little beetles when I was a little girl, and I named them Frank because I believe that they were like the mafia kings of the beetles because the way they moved. It was kind of, I don't know, like something about it. I was like, that's a mafia boss right there. So I was like, that's Frank. And he has, you know, people he's in charge of and you shouldn't mess with him. So like I made my brothers like make sure they didn't kill them. And I'm like, the mafia is going to come after you if you kill this beetle. Uh -huh. The beetle mafia. Yes. Okay. It's a thing. The beetle yes. mafia. So Lori said... <laughs> House like I miss him not. I miss him not. <laughs> and Marty was gone before you came at Thanksgiving, she said. <laughs> there you are. Oh, so man. But you killed him. Nope. Okay, so this Your beer. is settled down now. It's settled finally. It's very, very dark coffee oh, flavor. Yeah. Wow. Very roasted. It's creamy, though. It smells creamy. I'm not getting creamy. I'm just getting nope. bitter. Not in a bad way, just nope. that's what I'm getting. So it's, it's like. The lac lactose. What do you mean? Like. Is that a milk stout? It's, or just a stout? It's a coffee stout. So there's not, coffee stout. Okay. You're not going to really smell lactose, honey. I smell <laughs> it just means milk sugar. You're not going to just be like, I smell milk sugar specifically, not the regular I kind smell of milk sugar. sugar. There, Dana smells what Dana smells, could, dang it's it. It's possible that no, the it's fermentation is where complete. He learns a term and he's just like, I smell it. I'm like, you don't smell it. <laughs> I do. What's the word yesterday? Leave him alone. <laughs> Be nice to uh, you. Uh, I don't remember. You have a new. He has a new word that he likes. Pusillanimous like, or something. Pusillanimous. Like that. That's what it is. Yep, that's his new word. What does that mean? It is mean, it like miscellaneous only? No, with it means um, lacking uh, fervor or not courage. very energetic courage. Very meek. Pusillanimous. No, he, he, he sadly he, wants to use this to I'm describe gonna, an I'm employee when he review, gives them a review. Actually, and, and, Use oh, it. <laughs> oh I think that'd be they're awesome. not getting a good review. <laughs> He's Maybe. going to do it. <laughs> I will. Maybe. Pusillanimous, also equivalent to pansy. Yes, exactly. And Correct. I'm, not I'm, only pansy, but pansy ass. There. Um, Laurie says, oh, Mike says that it his, his wife is afraid of cockroaches, so I have to kill those. But she's terrified of roaches, but she'll catch every snake in the room. Oh my god! In the yard, and Lori says your wife is an Amazon. <laughs> that a wonderful compliment, Lori. Wow! Yes. Holy crap! That I'll is... take a cockroach or I... first snake any day. I just <laughs> said that was admirable. She caught a six foot indigo snake, but doesn't want to be on oh, film. No. Oh my oh, god! god. I'd have that to film such a great what? video. Holy cow! Um, hmm. tell your wife that we think she's absolutely crazy, and you'd make a million dollars from that video. There. Interesting. Uh -oh. She doesn't it's, like it. No, I do, but it's it's so there's definitely not lactose? No, there's not a lot of lactose. It's not <laughs> at all. It is a thin texture, so it's it's like light to medium. I think it's sweet. It's like no, it's like espresso, but there's slight sweetness. Uh, I taste cream. So it sounds like it's not what was it? <laughs> pusillanimous? It's not pusillanimous. It's not pusillanimous. I learned a new word. I'm gonna use it every day now. I might text Eileen with pusillanimous, but I have to learn how to spell it first. 
I, I, I just good. I just want this goat so bad. I love it. He is a happy little goat, isn't he? Phenomenal. He does seem incredibly happy. Giddy, even. Giddy. He, wow. He is giddy. He's on top of his game. He yeah. is. He was the so perfect common, goat model. Common ground brood buzz jitter roll up proud. That's what it says. I don't know what that just means. Just random words. Yep. Giddy. Random common brood buzz jitter. Bud roll jitter roll up proud. I can't say it. What's a roll up proud? Too many beers in. I can't say. <laughs> well, do you so, want a new? I can say pusillanimous. <laughs> pusillanimous. <laughs> do, you, do you want a, <laughs> say that. Do, you, do you want a word to add to to pusillanimous? Or that would be interesting. I don't know how you would use this word with it, but the word is exogenous. Exogenous. That sounds erogenous. No, that's different. <laughs> 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 and that, that's what's funny about it is because people think it's erogenous but exogenous means that which exists outside of whatever container right or unit not uh, erogenous at all yeah or developing from external factors uh -huh. that's good i'm saying that. so you're going to use that one oh yeah Inner at work <laughs> your pusillanimous from exogenous circumstances obviously and they're gonna be like, oh, "Am I fired? Why are you?" Gonna, gonna what, go, what the hell did you just um, say? I don't think I want to work here anymore. I'm calling HR. You made me uncomfortable. <laughs> Hike with Mike. Right, says, I just want don't use that word. <laughs> Swamp Head Brewery is a nice beer. I've I've never heard of Swamp Head, but I'm definitely going to look some up. I doubt they distribute to Northern Michigan, but next time we're in That's Florida. That's the problem we always have. All these and the smaller breweries, like I've said this before, they have the most dialed in beer. Typically. Like because the brewer still has a serious hand Control. In, in the brewery. Yeah. And we've we've come across a couple that are like very very small, very local and their beers are all yeah. on point. Yeah. Yep. I love ciders. He asked if I like ciders or if we like ciders. I like ciders. Matt's yeah. not a cider. Player. I was thinking of actually going to, um, taking you guys to a brewery when you're here in May that has, they actually own a cidery as well as their beer. The beer is more what they do, but they have like 10 different ciders and you can do a tasting of while we're all drinking beer and kind of like intermingled. So shorts i'm talking about oh, yeah. short yeah. yeah so the beer that matt's actually having that brewery they they own starship ciders so they have like a ton of ciders i don't like ciders i know but Kay does i know Kay, no. but <laughs> Kay likes beer too Kay does like beer too but mm -hmm. she likes ciders yeah 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 they did we it. actually went to a cidery um cider house excuse me um in Bozeman, Montana, and it was called the Lockhorn Cider House. Mm. And it was the only film that we did of it, or the only published film that we did of it, yeah, was in our Rocky's Road Trip review. We did a flight of it, right? Like the, uh, the ciders? We yeah, did a flight of, of ciders. Yeah. They were not sweet ciders. They were not yeah. anything like Angry Orchard at all. You would love them. Oh, like, well, they're tart yeah. and like bitter and they are. Tart, and yeah. there was some hoppiness to a couple of them. And there was one that was. Um, there was one that had like a hot pepper. Of some habanero. It was a raspberry that, habanero. That was actually quite interesting. Yeah. I like that. Um, and I found that I was like, okay, I like them, but they weren't what I was expecting. Like I was really excited when we got there. I was like, it's for me. I'm very excited. <laughs> yeah. And then all of a sudden I was like, oh, okay, they're good, but okay. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> how I feel when we go to a brewery that has more dark beer than light beer because usually it's the opposite. So I'm like, "Ooh, it's for me," and then it's like terrible, and I'm like, "Okay, great." So the best beer on their entire list was a beer that Dana likes. Cool, cool. Right, great. You know, you guys said something earlier that I thought was interesting that that some of the breweries are getting kind of a little bit more like mainstream in their flavor profile, even though yeah. they're you know craft beers, which yeah. is still a craft beer, but they're more mainstream. Right. One of the things that I found, like specifically on that Rocky's Road Trip, there were a couple beers that we had in the Denver area in Colorado Springs, I think, that the real story at those breweries was actually not the beer, it was the food. food. Venison oh, eggs. Yeah. Yeah, just, like at that place, and I think that was actually even a local chain, whichever one that was, that had the venison egg rolls and that killer pizza. 
Um, and even the one that we had in Mana, the other Montauk Springs, Manitou, Manitou Springs, that one. <laughs> uh, Montauk is a state park here. Yes, um, it is. Manitou Springs, even uh, that beer was was actually quite good. But burger, the, the food, parmesan was just, cheese fries, you know, truffle fries, was, yumminess. You know, oh, truffle oh, fries. Was, as good as the beer was, the food was just killer. <clears throat> that was just kind of one of the interesting things you find, you know, when you go to a new place. It's like, okay, the beer is good, yeah, blah blah blah. But holy smokes, you know. Yeah. I was just about to say that. We agree because there's a couple. I think the big thing with breweries now is they realize not having food is a downfall for them because a lot of bars obviously have food. So right. people go to a brewery and they expect the same thing. So if it's a smaller brewery, you'll see that they have like food trucks, which is kind of a cool vibe, but you typically have to pay separate and that's kind of annoying for a lot of people. Right. So they've turned into like gastro pubs. So it's a gastro pub, but it's a brewery. So we have a brewery that we went to recently in Portage, Michigan, which is in Western Michigan, Kalamazoo area. And the beer was kind of like, eh, like they had like all the beers that you can find in store were their best beers. All the beer that we had never tried that was inside the brewery was kind of like middle of the road or terrible, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And the best thing about it was their food. Like we'd go back for dinner. The food was incredible, but the beer was like, I'd rather just buy the couple we like in store and just stay at home and not, not right. The brewery. Well, I'm just saying I have to try ven making venison egg rolls at some point in time. But I have to find some venison. Well, um, you know, well, we may just have some venison for you. I know, I know but that's not on your plan. <laughs> well, I we, mean, we can get venison locally. I, I know a we few can. hunters. Anyway, well, yeah, I was just like, those venison egg rolls were something else. They were like those, I don't know if you've ever been to Chili's, the chain yeah. Chili's, yep. but they have Southwest egg rolls, but they make them with either pork or beef. Um, but these were venison egg rolls, like the Chili's egg rolls. They were amazing. It was, really so was it good. venison loin? Was it venison steak? Like ground, what, what ground oh. venison. So that's all we really know. Ground. Yeah, there we had that recently. At, um, we had venison, venison meatballs recently. Oh, no, didn't we have venison? Oh, it was duck. It, it was we duck. had we had duck egg rolls recently. Okay, hmm. cool. I know that video. That's yeah, the wild ducks, game. The dip. wild game one. Yeah, I was like, wait, I know those. Hold on. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, they did a my wild mom, game beer pairing video. So. My mom hated that. Oh, really? Really? Mm, she hates okay. wild game. My dad's hunted my entire life, and she's never consumed it unless he lied to her and said it wasn't venison, and then she got angry after because he would eventually oh. tell her. She just <laughs> not into it. and it's not that she's really against hunting. Obviously, she just doesn't like the taste. It like she just thinks it's like not not clean like there's something about it that just bothers her and a lot of people feel that way but when she she only came to the dinner because she wanted to go on a double date she knew she would not like the food so <laughs> so it's okay we kind of expected that but in the video she was just like being a trooper trying to eat it but like she was trying um hike with mike says if you're ever in florida check out dunadine brewery cool town where me and campfire steve and swamp camper Grew up, lots of microbreweries there, and Honeymoon Island is a favorite beach in Florida. Cool. Are you familiar with that area? No. Okay. So, is that where is that hike with bike? Because we, Dana, actually lived in Florida for a couple of years when he was a teenager, and we went to Florida. We went to Tampa and kind of the Tampa area, Ybor City, um, uh, uh, Saint Petersburg. So we spent some time in, in Southern Florida, but I, we neither of us know where Dunedin no, is. No, and I lived in Orlando. For yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I I don't. I can't say I've spent any time in Florida. I've been there have like you, four times. Been? Oh, okay. Yeah, most of the time it's been on a bus with students. Oh, okay. Where I drove from, like we left at three o'clock in the afternoon in Missouri, and we drove overnight, and we got there at three or four o'clock at oh, oh, the wait. next day. Yeah. <laughs> so high Gulf Coast, Clearwater, near okay. Clearwater. Got yeah. It. We, Dune, Dunedin, Dunedin, okay, Dunedin, Dunedin. So and we have to practice. That's fun. I need yeah. to drink more before I practice again. I agree. <laughs> which one? Which one do you think? Lager gonna have, or... I'm probably done after this one, to be honest. So pick which one you want to have next. I'm gonna honey. do the lager because it's cool. 
Okay. Okay. So one of the beers that you gave us is going to be featured in one of our videos because we're not drinking this one tonight. Okay. That's yeah, a good we're, one. We're we winding like it. down on the beer. I too. was going to say, we're, we're probably. Yeah, we're going right to bed after this because it is after 10 p.m. So as soon as we get off the stream, we're going to bed. Yeah, that's that's kind of where we're at, too. So. You just squirt <laughs> beer on my face. Did Why did you do this face? to me? Yes, my cheeks. Oh, well, that's not my fault. Mm, it's weird. It is weird. your fault. Well, not really. It's okay. You have to bring it up, and then I have to go under. We talked about this. We talked about this. Okay. It's the dangerous so beer pour. It's, an, it's another amber one, looks like. Yeah. Yeah, it's, so this the is the this is a zombie logger one. Zombie. Oh yeah, we decided we needed to send you zombies because that was funny. The can art is awesome. Can art is cool. Yeah, I love it. Oh, we are getting raided from Pusa, by the way. Silent Wolf Adventures from Pusa with love. So Pusa Studios is doing a raid on us. Thank you very much, Silent Wolf awesome. Adventures, for coming. Well, thank you so much for coming. I know that they were live. We actually saw that prior to starting our Google. Yeah. So um. It was founded, um, Hike with Mike says it was founded by Scottish immigrants from our, our high school band had bagpipers. That's awesome. Oh Good dog press. Hello. Thank you for coming from Pusa with love. Awesome. Well, that's so nice. Yeah. So nice. So there's going to be a whole bunch of people coming in with that hashtag, by the way. Well, I'm glad that we're still drinking then. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Hey, MU free music. That's awesome. Guys, if you need any music for your videos, MU free music has some awesome videos and it's, awesome. it's all free, free music, by the way. Well, thank you for joining us. I'll definitely check out your copy, uh, copyright free music for sure. Um, yeah. So we are um, drinking and you just poured a beer. So what have we got going on the over there? The description is just on point. We are drinking. We, we are, are drinking. We got that guy. We did a beer trade. So that's where we're at. Left on this, so we're going to let it settle down. For yeah, a he actually. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. What's, gotcha. What's the can again? I forget. Yeah, show it. 1030, show that can. 1031 Zombie Lager. Yeah, it's higher, it has like um, holographic it's really cool quality to art. it, which is really cool. Um, and this one is from, uh, I'm not sure if it's called Main Street Brewing Company or 4204 Brewing Company. So if you guys could clarify if you know. Actually, um, I don't know. It's for it's the Main Street Brewing for 4291 Main Street. Yeah, 4204. Um, it must be their address, I assume. <laughs> yeah, Main. And this is the one that's the Illinois that they okay. threw in. There. Um, well, well, I'm gonna look them up right really quick. The river, really. Have you guys <laughs> been to the brewery or had beer from? No, we um, no. we went to our local uh, beer mega mart, Friar Tux. I guess it's a chain. Yeah. Do you guys have um, Friar Tux up there? No. no. Okay. But uh, at any rate, so we went in and it's 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 one of the it's like a huge alcohol store. It's like, you know, you okay. walk in if, if you're an alky, you like, oh, wow, wine here yeah. and beer and, and liquor. And, and yeah. It's, and it's they huge. do brew, brewing stuff, yeah. too. But, um, you know, they've got, you know, a couple aisles dedicated just to beer. And so we, uh, we really? found this kind of in the uh, the variety pack. Make sure I'm variety pack. Yeah, we have a lot of stores very similar to that, but nothing from that name. Nothing that's fire tuck. Okay. 4204 Main okay, Street. Okay, so it's called 4204 Main Street Brewing Company. Um, Belleville, Illinois. This one specifically is a lager, um, also a American amber style, or red is how it's described for the style. A little hoppy, crisp and clean with hints of tropical fruit, multi smooth, dark and sweet. Um, no one we know or follow and untapped has untapped this. There's only 840 overall untaps, wow. on, which is pretty wow. low. Um, and well, I'd assume it's a smaller brewery and uh, it's a microbrewery, so it makes sense that the amount's a little smaller, but it's under a thousand, so that's pretty crazy. The overall yeah. rating is middle of the road, so it's 3.5 for the overall rating. Oh, okay, okay, interesting. And it looks like there are some people who gave it a five or high or, or four or higher, closer to a five. But most people are between the three and um, four mark. I almost never go over four on Untapped. He's he's pretty tough. We well, are tough sometimes. If it's if it's something that I really like and it's a style I really like, I'll give it a four. Um, and if you don't get both of those, it's going to be below a four. But I tend to buy things that are interesting in the style that I like that are also good. So I, yeah, we, I do do a lot of fours. Welcome we, to go ahead. 
Well, no, you go ahead. Go, welcome to all the people who are coming over from Pusa Studios. We really, really appreciate you coming in. We've been enjoying our time with the Bear Belly Travelers. Um, and guys, give these guys a thumbs up. They came back. Um, they've been back recently on YouTube um, from... They took a break like in May-ish and they came back in September and they did a really awesome craftmas um, when everybody else was doing vlogmas. So anyway, yeah, it's really awesome to have you guys all in here. So hit that thumbs up button for us. You can tell that Kay is more used to streaming than us because this is on our channel and she's doing a way better job. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing great. You're doing great. I'm, I'm having a great time. But right. you're, I told you earlier, you're a pro. It smells like mosaic hop. I'm getting kind of like a sweet, kind of fruity tone, but it's like malty. I'm not getting like, it's not hoppy. It's not super bitter. It doesn't sound smell like super strong. I'm not getting anything crazy. It's just kind of a masking. I get a little bit of a fruity smell, a okay. little bit of a, I, I get the mosaic. That's, that's what, smell, I'm, that's what yeah, I'm getting is it's, mosaic. It's a, and there is some more. So like, Wait. Oh, got to get it all there. You know? Yes. <laughs> no, fun stuff. Abraxas is here. I don't know if you guys remember Abraxas with, um, he used to, well, I met him through um, Mike Speed TV. Oh, I don't know okay. if you remember Mike Speed, but anyway, I met Abraxas through Mike Speed. So um, this came from Pusta Studios. Canadian Cali Pri Prairie awesome. Girl. Awesome. Cool. Thanks for coming. And Doodles by Dog. Hello. It's good to see you. Thank you for coming. This is awesome. Yeah, we're getting a raid right now. Thank yeah. You. So a raid from Pusa Studios. That's, awesome. that's amazing of them. That's really nice of them to send you guys over. Yeah, we um, actually, I pop into their live streams quite often and they always get excited because before they uh, were introduced to the Outdoor Adventures group mm -hmm. that we're all a part of, they kind of reached out to Dana's channel because they found his drone stuff and they had like... 400 followers at that time and now they're nearing 6,000 so it's right yeah we've been with them since yeah. um, since way before they were at a thousand but yeah um exactly. yeah uh so let's just kind of recap what we've been doing um it we're here and we're happy trails hiking and this is the beer belly travelers and they're hosting us for a beer trade tonight and so we've been going back and forth we sent them beers from missouri from where we live and they sent us beers from Michigan and we're kind of going over um, our thoughts on the beers and I'm really bad at it. So, so, and yeah, we've been, we've been, bad at it. <laughs> we've been uh, consuming beer for an hour or so um, and we're kind of yeah. winding down, but I just yeah. had a thought. Um, I looked up in the chat and I see the Abraxas normal channel mm -hmm. and that name reminds paranormal, me of, oh, sorry, okay. Abraxas paranormal. Sorry. I can't read. Um, <laughs> but the, the channel name reminds me of a beer from a company here called Perennial that is called Abraxas. So there, so if you're sure ever, you know that and we did not, we did not provide you guys with any beer from Perennial, but if you see the Abraxas beer at Perennial, get it. Yeah, you should. It's you should. amazing. Oh my goodness. It's, well, it's a really dark stout with chocolate and spices and crazy stuff. All yeah. I have to say is the fact that you took a channel name and then brought up a beer makes me just love you because that's, <laughs> that's so funny. That's so funny. That's so great. Like, I was like waiting. I'm like, what is he going to say? Because sometimes like he has the most interesting things he just brings up randomly. And when he's like, you know, come to think of that channel name, I'm like, what's he going to say? And then he's like, <laughs> a beer. And I'm like, a beer. oh my God. Yeah. Um, it's like, like that association game. You know, you say one thing and yeah. probably reminds you of something totally different. In this case, it was actually relevant oddly okay. enough two things the early kit in asked how we're not passed out and number two willie reed says chocolate beer so i have to show him that we are drinking neapolitan stout beer and it's yummy and pusa studios thank you so much this is so nice of you to send send your live stream here and yes it's 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 been a fun time hanging out together so yes, we appreciate it for it. almost an hour and, time. and also thank you for sending us a rave that is so sweet uh Dana and i never live stream so if we're gonna live stream it's it's only fitting that it's with our friends matt and kay uh, we have not live streamed in a very long time live premiere i'm all about live streaming not really my thing so doing a google hangout was like stressful for me kay had to help me like six times today <laughs> we made it though we got through it's yeah. all right 
when it happened, I'm like, oh, that was simple. I was like, <laughs> we did it. Like the first, if you watch the replay of this, like if you go back and decide to watch the replay, it's like, oh yeah, we're live. Well, that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we live. You're like, yes, I leave. We're live. I'm like, oh my god! Oh, <laughs> it. Oh, it's funny. It's like, I just your back. Thank like, you. Are you guys here? <laughs> we're here. We're here. That's very funny. Very funny. Um, now you have got a bug. Yes, oh, you've got yeah. a bug. You have. You have yeah. to. <laughs> no, I like editing far too much for that. I gotta she have. Does. I gotta have B-roll. She's she's quite the editor. That is true. Oh. That's very nice. Yes, thank you so much, Pusa, for sending everyone over. Um, we've got one beer left to drink, but we're not going to make it. it. <laughs> us, either. So, us either. To oh. recap, for those of you who just came out of the raid, um, let's see what beers have we had. We had the Giddy Goat, which is one of the ones. All these beers were sent to us from Matt and Kay. We did a trade. It wasn't a planned trade. We sent them a Christmas gift, and this is what it turned into. So we have Giddy Goat Stout, which I, I think this is the one that I'm drinking now currently, correct? Yes. yes. Okay. So that's the one we have right now. We started out with, this one's funny, Nudie Suit um, Porter, and that's by Mother. say it again, though? Nope. Like you can say it if you want. <laughs> Nudie Suit. Nudie, Nudie Suit. And then uh, Dana started with the Hop. hop Optimist. Optimistic. There you go. Optimistic IPA. And now you are currently drinking a lager, which was shocking that you picked this one over the other one because you don't usually go for lagers. I wanted to try it. The can art is so cool, so he had to open this one next. Zombie Lager is the one that we're doing. This is in Illinois. The rest of the beers are all Missouri. And we also have one beer that we are not drinking tonight because we've drank enough and we want yeah. to Yeah. <laughs> somewhat soon without being like super tipsy. So this is the one that we will showcase in a future video, a soon video, probably I'll, I'll make it and film it tomorrow to be honest. Um, so that's the beer that we are not drinking. So if you guys want to show what you have drank and what you yeah, have. So, so the review, the beers that we got from BBT, the uh, Neapolitan Milk Stout. Yum. Um, Sagatuck, Strawberry. which is very good. We also have the uh, Shorts Brew Slurm Slum lord. Slum, slum, slurm. No, it's slurm lord. Slurm there's lord. A, there's two R's in there, y'all. There are two. Slur, it's a slurm lord. Um, <laughs> we also have the vanilla Java porter, which is very nice. It's like a Breckenridge porter, but it has more body. Yeah. Um, and the one that we did not open is the Elysian pumpkin ale, uh, called the Night Owl. Um, yeah. so we'll crack that one up on perhaps tomorrow, but uh, yeah, not, not tonight. That's a really good beer. We actually had that. I think one. It was the one before our Halloween special. I, I think before we went to Highway Brewing. We yeah. Actually had that yeah, beer. I was gonna say I saw you guys drink it. I was like, oh, I know that one. It's yeah, in our grocery yeah. stores. You left a comment that implied that you were interested. So I'm like, I gotta send this to Kay, and I made a note to myself. And then mm. something about there being like an owl on it. I was like, she's gonna love the owl. I've gotta give this to Kay. So okay. that was like, as soon as we bought it, I'm like, that's for Kay. Okay. Oh. Well, we're thrilled. That's, yeah. And uh, Braxis says he wants to chase the Abraxas beer and early kit in. Um, really wants to know what B-roll is. B-roll is the stuff, the in-between footage that tells the story. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, B-roll is pretty, yeah, like she said, it's pretty much that. But Look up Peter McKinnon's B-roll. You'll, yeah. you'll get yeah. it. But it's, does the whole thing. it's filler footage where you don't require to have voiceover and mm -hmm. you're kind of painting the picture of the overall feeling and emotion you're trying to emote with the videography. So if you're doing a hiking video and you're talking about how there's intense inclines or something like that, and then you do um, panning shots where you're just showing the incline or um, your, your feet hiking or the trees with the wind blowing through them, that's kind of making the idea that the person watching is there with you. So B-roll helps kind of paint that picture. Yep. But we probably ought to get going. Matt's got an early meeting in the morning. And I know Dana has to work. So yes, um, yes, yes. Pusa Studios tweeted us out. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry guys, this is at the end. Uh, we figured we would do an hour. Um, we're over at this point, we went a little over. But we're we're chatty yeah. and we're, we're friends outside of YouTube, so it's hard to to get off exactly on time. But we appreciate everyone who joined us, especially the raid that came at the end. That was really sweet of you guys. Thank you so much. Make sure you check out Happy Trails Hiking. I will update the description box for people watching on replay with their Shopify link. 
They have merch. It's beautiful. We own it. Let me show that really quickly before we jump off. Um, coffee mugs, they're phenomenal. And it's their photography, which is even cooler. And uh, we will leave their link down below. And I did actually attach a card to the live stream for replay with their channel already linked for ease uh, and access for those of you on smartphones. So thank you for joining us. Um, we'll give our ending tagline and then we'll let them say goodbye. Um, drink good beer and stay warm. Go ahead and do a little cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Take care. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night.